Some local newlyweds tonight are stuck in Ohio and not on the beach in Mexico because of a passport glitch. Consumer reporter John Matteris is tracking that and a possible new clue about something big at Kings Island. John. Kristen, our story last night on hints of a possible new roller coaster at Kings Island went viral today, shared by thousands of theme park fans nationwide. Well, tonight there are new clues that Kings Island might be planning something big. I want you to take a look at this sign. It's inside the Eiffel Tower elevator today. A member of the Facebook group Phi Coasters posted the picture. It says five is alive. That's another possible reference to the defunct Son of Beast, which was originally called Coaster Number no. 5. Our full report is on WCPO.com. We have seen a lot of rising prices this year, but tonight a new price war on milk of all things. Not on your side viewer Mike Lohman sent me this photo of the milk cooler at Walmart in Florence. There you can get a gallon of milk for just 98 cents. Walmart, Kroger and Aldi near Mall Road in Florence are engaged in a brutal war for shoppers dollars. A beautiful bride, a picture perfect wedding and a dream honeymoon in Mexico. Only the tri-state couple planning all that is now stuck in Cincinnati, blocked from boarding their flight. We spoke with them and have a warning for everyone. Justin and Samantha Cornhouse are supposed to be honeymooning on the beach in Mexico right now, but instead they're stuck at home here in Westchester because of a passport glitch. It's extremely unfortunate and it's devastating because at that point you're unsure what you could have done to rectify the situation. The day after their wedding, the couple headed to the airport with their brand new U.S. passports in hand, but... Scanned them and hers was having a problem scanning and it said, uh, unknown error, go to the desk. A desk clerk tried a manual entry. When they typed in the number, what happened? They said, well, we tried that, but it's still throwing an error. Then came the devastating news. They could not get on the plane. They said, we've come to the conclusion that there's something wrong with her passport. So whose fault was it? The airport, the airline, the TSA, or the passport agency? Justin and Sam don't know. They just know they couldn't get on their flight. You know, nobody wants to spend their honeymoon in a law office, and nobody expects that. Their attorney, Scott Hoberg, says it's a mystery since Sam's passport is not visibly damaged. You know, there should be chips that are included in those passports that should have redundancies built in if in the event that there were issues with scanning. They're now trying to collect on their travel insurance, but may have to wait for a letter from the passport office to do that. Their storybook wedding has now been tainted. It was, it was devastating and, and really kind of went through a stage of grief. We're contacting their travel insurance company and asking if they can expedite a refund of the almost $4,000 they paid for the trip. This is a good lesson why you need to have travel insurance when you take a big trip, especially out of the country. If you haven't seen my full report on all the clues popping up around Kings Island that a new coaster may be coming soon, you can see the full story on WCPO.com and mine on my John Matteris Money Facebook page. So you don't waste your money. Kristen, yeah, thank you.